Well, new tonight, Broncos owner Greg Penner hitting, hinting at the possibility of a new home today. But some super fans aren't ready to leave Empower Field at Mile High. Fox City One's Nate Bell is live in Broncos country with those new details. Nate. Yeah, guys, ever since 1960, the Broncos have played in this exact spot, either at Mile High or until 2001, since 2001 here at Empower Field. But today, owner Greg Penner hinted at the possibility of the team moving. Those rumors have been flying around for a while, and he only stoked that fire today. We're evaluating options for a new stadium potentially and whether that's on the current site or somewhere else. A new stadium potential for the Broncos to leave their longtime home in the heart of the city. Superfan Mary Brannon, whose home is filled from floor to ceiling with Broncos memorabilia, has been going to games since she was just a kid. Fans now recognize her by that orange and blue hair. This is how they knew when I was coming. They'd say, orange and blue, what's going on? When asked about a yay or nay on leaving Mile High? Not necessary right now, so no. That's an A. She wonders why it's necessary, given that it's fairly new for a sports venue at only 23 years. It's not that old. They just did renovations. And she loves the location, close to town both for travel. I, I like it because it's convenient. I can take light rail downtown. And so she can show off what Denver has to offer to her visiting friends. It's just part of the magic of the city. Brandon also doesn't want to lose out on lifelong memories, including a game where she helped break a world record. They had little orange mustaches, and it was the most mustaches in one place at one time. But overall, she thinks building a new home just isn't in the best interest of a team that itself is building back towards its former glory. It's a disruption in a sense because we're just we're still trying to find our groove and get our rhythm. I had another fan who I spoke to over text today. He tells me that he prefers the older stadiums because he thinks they get a lot louder. Uh, but he says, again, if he agrees with Brandon that if the stadium uh, is going to be rebuilt, there's going to be a new one. They hope that it stays right here in downtown Denver. Reporting live from Broncos country, Nate Belt, Fox 31. All right.